Right, I'm on a bit of an uh, unusual one for me. I'm at Blasford Hill, um, which is a fishery in Chelmsford. It's a cool little dating lake, well worth a look. Um, and basically, I've come down here with my mum's friend. So um, she asked me to take her mate fishing. I said yes. I've come down here with him, his nephew, and uh, my mate is next door as well. Um, we did last night. I had fish boshing all over us, caught nothing. Um, but this morning, I see a fish show on the far margin. Um, we chucked the rod over there, but 20 baits over the top. Um, and that went quite quickly with a little mirror which is in the net, put the rod back, the other rod, reeled it in off the island, put that out there as well, and that, about 10 minutes later that went. So I've got two fish in the nets. Um, I've got one rod back out to the far side, I've just put one out on a zig. Um, so it's all good. I was uh, starting to panic, I thought we might blank, but worked out it a little bit this morning, managed to get a couple of bites, so I'm going to uh, get the fish out and show you them now. Right, well, here's the first one. I'd say he's probably 10, 12 pound. Lovely little carp, and he's going a bit crazy, so I'll put this one back and uh, show you the slightly bigger common. Right, well, here's number two. He's slightly bigger, he's probably 14 pounds. He's got a massive old mouth, big rubbery lips, and he's uh, scale perfect pretty much, so very pleased with this one. Two rods out there, and still time to nick one more. Oh. All right, I've been staring at these little suckers for a while now. They're going to go misses, it's just giving me marching orders, so home time. Do that, that little monkey. Blue, come here. Let's just watch. Let's have to sit here and watch for a bit. Let's see if they come back. I think they were there a second ago. Oh, look, right down here there's mud. Right in close. Yeah. Hang on, just wait to see it. No, he's there. still there. He's still there. There's fish there now near your rod. Just crouch down here. Don't kick the camera in, will you? Don't what? Kick the camera in. I thought I'd get you to catch one on a pink one. A pink one? Pink body. Pink fish? Yeah, they're still there. See the tails in it. I see him. Come on, fish here. Any minute. <laughs> Quick, 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 go, 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 go,
That's it? Yes. <laughs> I call my friend. Hold him up a bit higher. That's it. <laughs> well done. Right, I've nipped out for a little morning session with my mate Steve. Uh, don't fish with him very often, but he's the uh, he was the hero of the hour the other week with the big one from the from the lake we did our last session on. Um, but yeah, we've come to a little club water not too far from where we both live just to do the morning. We've probably fished till about midday. Um, got the rods out just before it got light, got to put the bait out just as it was getting light to try and combat the seagulls, but true to form, about 10,000 of them turned up. Um, and they've got quite a lot of boilies, but I've put quite a bit of bait out, a couple of bright pop-ups over the top. Um, on hinge diff rigs, nice big size fours, which is what I've caught a lot of fish out of here on, the, uh, on in the past. But yeah, there's some cool carp in here, and hopefully, between us, we'll nick one before we have to go home. <coughs> Might have had a little move up. Um, just didn't catch anything down the other end. The birds started diving all over us. Um, I've had that on here in the past and it's been a bit of trouble to be honest. The water's really down as well. So I've come up here, which is pretty much a banker spot. There's always fish in this out of bounds area. We basically just spread our rods out along here. Um, I've got the one closest to the rope, so I've probably got the best chance of catching one. Um, but Steve let me have it, so. Pressure's on me now. Tails clean out the water. Right, there's a little spot down there. Just, there you go, you can see the fish on it now. I'm not actually allowed to fish there, but I just put some bait there to see if they turn up and feed, and they definitely are. There's two or three of them down there, tails out the water, from big mud cloud. I'll, uh, I'll try and creep up, get a little bit closer. There we go, look. Couple there. There's nowhere the out of bounds is, that's for sure. I'll probably blank fish on the edge of the out of bounds while they sit here feeding inside it, but that's what you get feeding them where they know they're safe. Right, left hand rod, the one off the boy. I had a bite, this literally netted this thing right at the bottom of the bay. He swam straight through those fish that were feeding in the edge. But, it's a good fish. Don't know how big, I'm gonna go grab my scales and weigh him, but he's uh, definitely a chunk. All right, well here he is, 25 pound, six ounces. So like I said, he's a bit of a chunky one. And more than welcome on day like today. Really pleased to have caught this. I'll go home to the missus, and she won't take the mick at me for not catching anything like she has the last couple of sessions. All right, it's lucky left hand rod day. Steve's rod over there, just off that bush. Probably 10 minutes after I put mine back, he's had a take. He's come round into the outer bounds, and that leader there has caused him all sorts of troubles. It's kited around the line, and the fish actually got tethered to that for a little while. But luckily, down here in the net, is what looks a good fish. 25, 26 pound, I reckon. don't get caught very often, boys, no. that. Lives in the Outer Bands, mate. Creeps out every now and then. Right, here's old Stephen Gately's one. 
25-2. Another lovely fish. Autumn colours in the background and all. How about that? Well, we're both going to go home with a fish under our belts. And what's more, we're not even going to be late. We said we'd leave at 12, it's 5 to wrap things up once this one swims away. And then it's home time. Come on, mate. And off he goes, look. Into the out of bounds. Like they all do. Right, so, oh god, I spilled my coffee. Uh, right, so I'm at a, I'm at a new water. Um, new in a sense, it's not completely new to me. I did actually fish here uh, nine years ago. I was 17, 16 at the time. Um, I did a season back then. I caught my first 40 pounder from here. But I've come back and I'm gonna do the winter. That's my plan, I'm gonna do the winter on here. The fish have grown a hell of a lot. I did catch a few of them, you know, the season I did all those years ago. But there's a lot of fish in here um, that I didn't catch that are now massive. I think there's 30 or 30s in here, a few 40s as well. There's plenty of fish for me to go at. I think there's something like 7 over 38. Um, so yeah, Cleveland Mere is the name of the lake. It's not local to home, to be fair. You know, I've got a bit of knowledge of the lake, obviously, from before, so it makes for the ideal winter water, really. It's on my way to work, it's on my way home, um, so it's perfect. got here yesterday and I spent basically spent the whole day sort of trying to catch one out of these two bays that are either side of the swim I'm in now, which is a point. There's a bay either side. Some real big fish in one of the bays and some slightly smaller ones in the other bay. Spooked the first lot, putting the rod out, and the other ones I was trying to catch them on free line bread. Um, I came really, really close. Stood in the back of the trees all day, all day, hour and a half or something. And yeah, came really close. I got done once, spat out. Um, there were sort of five or six fish, nothing massive, probably 28 pound. 30 pounds was probably the biggest one, um, and that's one of the ones that spat me out. So a bit gutted about that. Um, I ended up getting my free line bread stuck in the tree, having to pull for a break and spook them all off. So I've done the night, same areas. I've got one rod off the front of the port here, like I say, and two rods either side, or one rod either side. Haven't seen a great deal. Uh, I've been sort of sat, there's a little rat run type thing down here, a uh, little gap. I've been sat there for a little while this morning watching down to the bottom end of the lake, and I have seen a couple of fish there. And um, that's where all the regulars seem to be. They're all down that end. I'm sort of pretty central, so I'm gonna hang it out here. Um, I wanted to get my rods out in those bays nice and you know, I did them last night so they'll be ready for today. So hopefully when the fish do turn up, there'll be a five ounce lead, short rig, and a sharp and wide gate waiting for them. But one of the commons I saw yesterday is massive, probably a 40 pounder, so really excited. I'm um, just praying the fish turn back up. The weather's not quite as sort of sunny as it was yesterday, but I think they'll still creep in there at some point. So. Fingers crossed, but yeah, I think this will be me for the rest of the winter. Oh, I'll tell you one more thing. Oh God, I'm destined to throw this coffee everywhere. I've had him photo the most crazy carp I've ever seen at the weekend from a mate, Kempy. James's fish, some of you may have heard of it, but what a beast. It's four foot long. I've never, I've never ever seen a carp like it. It was, it was ridiculous. It doesn't even look like a carp. It's that big. Its mouth and its head are huge. So yeah. I thought I'd let you know because I've got a bit of video you can see. So, yeah, that's that. Fingers crossed I'll uh, catch something today, eh? Right, I've caught one. It just so happens to be, well, it's pretty much my target fish when I first joined here 10 years ago. And, uh, it's actually probably one of the only fish I didn't actually want to catch upon my return, but I have caught him, uh, so I'll show you him. He's looking a little bit worse wear. I think um, most of the originals have gone, you know, they've gone up in weight and they look better nowadays, but this is the original big one. Um, and unfortunately, he's very old and he's gone backwards. So I think the first time I had him was just nearly 35 pound and he doesn't even look like a 30 at the minute, but We'll get him out, give him away, and I'll show you him. As old as the hills. Yeah, he is like. Been for a long yeah. Time over the years. Bless him. So is this sack? Like between. About this ten years, this sack. 
Yes. Yeah. But Chester looks good. Ginge not so good. What when these were? Ben got the pace, I think they crept up to like 20, straight to 20s. Look. Right, well here it is, 26 pounds, seven ounces. So he's, well, best part of 10 pound down on what he used to be. But like I said, he's a very old fish. Used to be the biggest in the lake. Certainly isn't anymore. But strangely, quite a nice welcome back. Old as the hills in an absolute state, but an old friend of mine. All right, well, time to say goodbye. I can't believe what this fish looks like. So old. Go on, mate, go on. Right, I'm gonna uh, do this sort of Blair Witch style. Um, so basically, since I had the fish earlier, I've repositioned my left hand rod almost straight away. Um, I was actually in the middle of doing that when I had the bite. Um, so I got that one out straight away, and the, the rod I caught the fish on, put that back out about an hour later. Um, and then the rod on the front of the point, I put that one out, just so it was getting dark. So that's not been out there very long, it's been dark for about an hour, but the other two rods have been out there, um, and the bay's you know, nicely rested in there, all nice and quiet. Um, for quite a few hours now, since about midday-ish, so nothing, I assume nothing's crept in there over the sort of, um, over the afternoon or the evening, but I'm hoping tonight something will creep in. Not sure how confident I am that they will, it's quite shallow water, um, and if they're not there in the day, might possibly not expect them to be there at night, but uh, talking to other people with the bait, do do bites at night, so having caught a fish from there, it's worth at least one more night, I guess. I'm off early in the morning, um, and yeah, the only places I would have moved to, I've seen quite a lot of bait go out there from other anglers, so I didn't quite fancy sitting over that. I thought I'd hang it out here for one more night. And this could well be the last time you see me this session, unless I catch anything between now and the morning. Um, that'll be it till next time, but I'll cross my fingers that I do catch something, and uh, hopefully you can do the same. But for now, good night. Oh, turn off. Oh, jeez.